match on from our Tristan review and another kettle beer. This one is Freibergel Edel Kettle. And it was a really long time since I had a beer from this brew before on that channel. I've had one beer before from Freibergel OI and it was of course the pills since this one, uh, this brew is from the uh, heart of Germany where pills is the, um, the main product and quite, at least according to um, to Franconian standards, um, quite big brewery, I believe. Um, but this um, label is looking quite different comparing to the Freiburger pills that I reviewed before. Uh, still, it's a long neck bottle, which I think the other one was as well. But I um, don't really remember which state it is from in uh, in Germany. But um, it looks like this at least. Here you see the top label, here you see the con cup, here you see the main label, Freiburger Edelkeller Naturtrüb. And the monk right here, or uh, whatever it is, 1266. And the back label, of course, I'm gonna give you the information from the back label if you want to review. Um, and um, yeah, always right time for a kettle bill, of course, uh, one of my favorite results at the moment. And this one looks really, really nice, so I've been looking forward to it a lot, of course. I'm in a moment right now where I try beers from brewers that has been on the channel before since I'm running a little bit low. On brews that uh, has not been on the channel before, but I'm gonna uh, find more and uh, continue with the brews that has not been on the channel before. So, hope to look forward to that as much as I do. Let's open up a bottle of this Freiburger Edelkelle. This smoke coming out, showing that it's in the right temperature because it poured up, of course, into the uh, for the best of the glass creating quite much foam because of the um, bottle shape. Uh, meanwhile, we'll, we'll wait for the foam to sink down. We can read a little, read a little bit about uh, the brewery from the from the label Edelkeller uh, Naturtrib, drei Schritte zum Genuss. So it shows right here that you should pour it up. Uh, most of it, wait, shake the bottle, and uh, then pour up the rest. Pick up the hefe, as always, on the Keller beer and Weiss beer. Ein naturbelassenes, aromatisch frisches Keller beer, gebraucht in langer Tradition, die im Jahre 1266 Mark Graf Heinrich der Erlauchte mit dem Erlass nur freibergisch Bier in sächsische Baugebiet zu liefern, ins Leberif eine edle Tat und die erstmalige Erwähnung des Bierbrauens in Freiberg. Bierzutaten, Wasser, Gasmalz, Hopfen, Hopfenextrakt, Hefe, Freiberger Brauhaus GmbH, am Fürstenwald, 09599 Freiberg. Freiberger Bier, VI is the website of this brewery, which I'll cross link to in the description box below, as always. I'll go count to 5.5% volume. Um, Freiberger Brauhaus, um, yeah, okay, that's information on the on the label, uh, Freiburger Brauhaus, it's like 1850 or something, I think it says right here on the, on the label. It's poured out, we have some left in the bottle, so we swirl the bottle, yes, that's it says on the, on, on the, on the label, and then we pick up the, the uh, hefe, like that, and it's maybe enough for that. Moment. Like that. And we have it all in the glass. Put the bottle right here in the mile. I can show it closer to you the nice two finger white foam crown. Something like that. Great fresh aroma. So let's give it a try. The Freiburger Edelkeller Post. Kellow beer taste, of course. Um, so, even Saxony can now uh, do Kellow beers, definitely. So, this is a recommendation the Edel Kellow from Freiburger, that was 1266. Uh, I think that's it for now regarding this review. Hope you'll like my and see you again in the next German beer review.